Happy Monday, everybody. It's Macro Monday, and today's topic is when too much protein backfires. We've talked about protein a lot on this channel, and protein is the body's builder, and fat is its fuel. When they work together, you get strength, energy, and stable blood sugar. But when protein runs the show all by itself, you can stall your progress, crash your energy, and even speed up aging. So if you're on a carnivore or a keto diet, protein is king. But remember, it's not a solo act. Dietary fat slows digestion, helps you absorb fat-soluble vitamins, and keeps energy steady. It's like building a house. Protein is the bricks, but fat is the mortar and electricity. With, without it, the house doesn't hold together or function the way it should. So when protein is too high and fat is too low, you can end up feeling full but tired, struggling to stay in ketosis if that's what you're aiming for, constantly hungry between meals, and seeing your weight loss stall despite perfect macros on paper. Here's something else most people never hear. Protein activates a growth pathway called mTOR. It's what tells your body to build muscle and repair tissue. And we need that, but mTOR is like the accelerator. If it's pressed down all the time, your body doesn't get enough time for autophagy, which is your internal cleanup and recycling mode. Autophagy clears out the damaged cells, recycles, and gets rid of the junk proteins, things linked to aging and disease. So think of mTOR as the builder and autophagy as the janitor. If the builder never takes a break, the job site is going to get messy. So let's talk about some of the downsides of chronically high protein. If you're doing, if, if that's what you're doing, you're in constant growth mode with less cell cleanup, less steady energy without fat, and potential blood sugar bumps with extra gluconeogenesis. And that would be because there's no fat for fuel, especially if you're lean. And you could have digestive stress from lean meat, heavy meals. So let's come up with a balance tip here. For most keto and carnivore eaters, aim from anywhere for 0.08 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of your ideal weight. If you're postmenopausal or trying to lose weight, go a little bit higher. Fill the rest of your calories with healthy fats so you're fueled, satisfied, and hormonally balanced. Give your body breaks from constant digestion with a time-restricted eating window. Something as simple as a 12-12, 12 hours of eating, 12 hours, fa 12 hours fasting, supports autophagy, and stretching it to 16-8 gives those repair processes even a bigger boost. But if you're struggling with getting your protein in, three meals a day are fine. A 12-12 will work great. So, for example, instead of eating a huge plate of chicken, plain chicken breast three times a day, you might choose a ribeye for lunch and salmon for dinner. Then close the kitchen after the last meal. You get protein, you get fat, and you give your body hours every day to shift from that growth mode into that repair mode. So yes, protein is powerful, but like any powerful tool, it works best when you use it wisely. Next week, I'm going to do a deep dive into mTOR and autophagy, the growth switch and the cleanup crew, and how to use them to slow aging. You won't want to miss it. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.